It's October 14th, 2015. It's game five of the playoffs between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Texas Rangers. Jose Bautista steps up to the plate in the seventh inning with two men on base and the score tied at three. The fact that Bautista is even batting right now is a miracle. The events of the last 20 minutes have produced one of the strangest and most unexpected innings in baseball history. There's been controversial calls, nail-biting hits, and a complete defensive collapse that all culminated to this moment. The Blue Jays' star slugger at the plate, with the chance to cement his legacy and complete one of the craziest comebacks in sports history. And what he gave us was somehow even better. The Jose Bautista bat flip is one of the most iconic baseball moments over the past 25 years. With the stakes at their highest and his team's playoff hopes on the line, Bautista crushed a 400-foot bomb to left field and followed it up with a celebration that radiated pure aura. His home run gave Toronto their first win in the playoffs since Joe Carter's walk-off homer in the 1993 World Series. But how did we get here? Realistically, this entire sequence should have never happened. But more than that, there was a time when Jose Bautista was considered nothing more than a liability from the plate. Jose Bautista was drafted by the Pirates in 2000 in the 20th round. It took him four years in the minors to develop until he earned a call up to the team in 2004. However, his major league career started off rough. In fact, it was probably the worst rookie season any player could ask for. Bautista was waived or traded four times in just four months, becoming the first player to play for five teams in a single season. He'd be shipped back to the Pirates by the end of 2004 and found a role as a solid rotation player. Bautista spent five uneventful seasons with the Pirates. His batting stats were extremely mediocre and he only averaged about a dozen home runs per season. He was traded to the Toronto Blue Jays in 2008, where he continued his trend of being unremarkable from the plate. But a coaching change in 2010 to Dwayne Murphy revived Bautista's stagnating career. Bautista became one of the MLB's premier sluggers, leading the American League with 54 home runs in 2010. He'd grab his second home run title the next season with 43 more homers, and hit above 300 for the first time in his career. Bautista made it to six straight All-Star games and established himself as the Blue Jays' biggest offensive weapon. And in 2015, he led Toronto to a 93-win season alongside young stars in Edwin Encarnacion and AL MVP Josh Donaldson. Toronto made the playoffs for the first time in 22 years, facing off against the Texas Rangers in the American League Divisional Series. In Game 1, the Rangers took control early, getting out to a quick 2-0 lead. The Jays kept it close thanks to a Bautista home run in the 6th, but Texas held on to take Game 1 on the road. Game 2 was even closer, needing 5 hours to crown a winner, but the Rangers found their mark in the 14th inning and closed out a 6-4 win, grabbing a 2-0 series lead. The Blue Jays' hopes looked doomed as they needed two big wins on the road just to stay alive in the series. But that's exactly what they did, dominating the Rangers in games three and four to tie the series at two all, forcing a fifth and final decider back in Toronto. Game five started out slow and seemed to mirror the first two games in Toronto as the Rangers got off to another early lead. But in the third, Bautista stepped up and hit a line drive double down the third baseline bringing in Ben Revere for Toronto's first run of the game. And in the sixth inning, Edwin Encarnacion slammed a monstrous solo shot to center field that tied the game at two all. But the real drama of this game started in the seventh, in what's now referred to as the unforgettable inning. Rugnet Odor led off with a single for the Rangers and got his way to third base thanks to a bunt and a tricky ground out from his teammates. So with two outs in the inning, Shin Su Chu stepped up to the plate. He had already hit a home run in the third to give Texas their 2-0 lead, 
but got behind early in the count after two quick foul balls. But after Aaron Sanchez threw a fastball high for ball two, Russell Martin attempted a routine throwback to the pitcher, which bounced off the extended bat of Shu as he was getting ready for the next pitch. Odor came into home plate, but it was initially deemed a dead ball by the umpire, and the run didn't count. But after some deliberation between the officials, they determined that Chu didn't purposely interfere with the ball, meaning that the run scored and Texas took the lead. The Blue Jays players and the Toronto fans were furious, hurling beer cans and other garbage onto the field in protest. And despite manager John Gibbons' best efforts, the umpires would not change their decision, meaning the Jays were down 3-2 in the deciding game with only three more innings left to play. But this controversial call was just the start of the insanity that was about to begin in the bottom of the seventh. Russell Martin led things off for the Jays in the seventh inning, looking to redeem himself for the error made just minutes ago. He hit a bouncing grounder to shortstop Elvis Andrews, who couldn't control the ball and gave up a base hit. And things only got worse in the very next at bat. Kevin Piller hit another easy ground ball to first baseman Mitch Moreland, who opted to throw the ball to second to turn a quick double play. But his throw was very weak, landing right in front of Elvis Andrews, who couldn't handle the ball once again and gave Toronto their second man on base. Ryan Goins was next up to bat and went for a sacrifice bunt to advance the runners into scoring position. But Rangers third baseman Adrian Beltre saw it coming and made a great play to run down the ball and fire it back towards third. It was another incredible collapse from the Rangers, and more specifically, Elvis Andrews, who made three heartbreaking errors in three straight at bats, instead of a quick three out inning that should have ended minutes ago. The Blue Jays had the bases loaded with zero outs recorded. The Rangers got their first out on the next at bat with a quick throw to home but a Josh Donaldson blooper sailed just over the head of Rugnet Odor to tie the game up at 3-all. Texas managed to get an out at second, but still left runners on first and third with the one man you don't want to see step up to the plate, Jose Bautista. He had already driven a runner earlier in the third, and now had the chance to give Toronto the lead for the first time all game. Bautista fouled off the first pitch, and then kept his nerve on the second to tie up the count. But on the third pitch of his at-bat, Jose Bautista found his mark. Bautista crushed a three-run home run into the upper decks of the Rogers Center and capped it off with one of the coldest celebrations in baseball history. The stadium exploded to life and the Jays roster came out to celebrate with an ecstatic Bautista Tensions reached a boiling point between the two teams, as the dugouts cleared just minutes later from a feud between Encarnacion and pitcher Sam Dyson. But ultimately, this ended up being the last big moment of the series, as no more runs were scored and the Jays closed out the game to move on to the ALCS. The Bautista bat flip would have more ramifications than just a playoff victory. To the Rangers roster, it was a sign of disrespect and rubbed salt in a wound after a total defensive collapse. This moment was a spark for a brief but exciting two-year rivalry between the Rangers and the Jays, and was also the start of a long-term beef between Rognet Odor and Jose Bautista. The pair got into a fight on the field the very next season, which started an all-out brawl between the two teams. The Jays and Rangers met again in the playoffs the very next year. This time, however, the Jays would sweep the series 3-0, capping it off with a Josh Donaldson steal at home plate to win in extra innings. Unfortunately for Bautista, his career soon fizzled out after this two-year playoff run. He left the Blue Jays in 2017 and bounced around a few times before finding himself as an unsigned free agent in 2019, deciding to call it quits. Bautista's three-run homer and subsequent celebration against the Texas Rangers cemented his baseball legacy. To most of the MLB, he was a disrespectful villain who broke the unwritten rule of baseball, 
but to Blue Jays fans and Canada as a whole. He was the hero slugger who saved their season with one of the most clutch at bats in baseball history. And whether you love him or hate him, Jose Bautista's iconic bat flip will be immortalized in baseball fans' minds forever.